Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius, and today I want to talk about a battle I have been secretly fighting in my 210 gallon aquarium. So for years, there's been this weird substance growing in this aquarium. It's kind of like a film fungus type of thing. It grows on my rocks, it grows on my driftwood, it grows on my background, on plants, and worst of all, it grows on some of my fish. Now, I've been fighting this for years, and for the longest, I couldn't find a solution. I tried asking many people, and no one was able to identify it. This stuff has like a brown appearance. Sometimes when it grows in a fish, it kind of looks white. It's not a fungus because I've treated with many antifungals with no results. It's also not a disease or a parasite because I've tried every treatment in the books and not one of them seems to affect this thing in my aquarium. Now, even though it covers some of the fish, it never actually killed the fish. It just covers them and it definitely looks very uncomfortable. And even more weirder, it doesn't even affect all the fish. Some of the fish in a tank like my Jack Dempsey's and my Silver Dollars, they've been living in the tank for their entire life and not once have I seen this stuff growing on them. But my Red Devil, I just recently added him back to this tank and he's covered. And before when he was younger in this aquarium, it used to cover him and other fish like my Feste. So it doesn't affect all my fish, just some of my fish. Now you all know I have a fish room with multiple aquariums and I've kept many tanks in the past and I've only dealt with this issue in two of my aquariums, my 210 gallon tank and my 125 gallon aquarium. The only thing that these two tanks have that every other aquarium doesn't have are my 3D backgrounds. Everything else, the water quality, the water chemistry, all the same in all my other aquariums. The only difference is the backgrounds. These have 3D backgrounds made from universal rocks, um, the same type of rocky background, the same color, and these are the only two tanks I'm dealing with this weird substance. Now, of course, whenever you have a situation with your water, the best thing to do is to test it to make sure everything is right. So when I tested, everything seemed normal. My pH, my ammonia, my nitrite and nitrates were where they should be. The only thing that was different was the phosphates in my aquarium. I had some very high phosphates. Now, phosphates, they usually come from decomposition in your tank. So a good example is in my pond. In my pond, I get a lot of high phosphates because the leaves, they fall in, they decompose, and that creates phosphates. Phosphates are not always a bad thing. Some people actually purposely add phosphates to the aquarium because it's a good fertilizer for plants. But in my tanks, I don't have plants. So that may be the reason why I'm getting this growth from this substance. It's feeding off all the high phosphates, and that's why no matter how much I try to get rid of it, I do water changes, I vacuum as much as I can every week and it still comes back strong and it's because I have phosphates in my aquarium. The next question I had was what was causing these high phosphates? I have no leaves decomposing. The only thing different with these two tanks and all my other aquariums is this 3D background. So in conclusion, I'm believing that this 3D background, I'm not sure if it's the background itself, the plastic that it's made out of, or rubber, I think it's made out of rubber. I'm not sure if the rubber is decomposing or if the paint, this brown paint is decomposing, but I was pretty sure that that was the only thing that could have caused these high phosphates in these two aquariums. So to test it out, I went ahead and I removed the 3D background from my 210 gallon aquarium. Now I definitely didn't want to move this background, one because I paid almost $400 for it, and two because it definitely makes my tank look very natural. However, when you weigh on a balance, the aesthetic look of your tank versus the health of your tank, I think it's always better to choose the health of your aquarium. So I just went ahead and removed this background. Luckily, I didn't silicone it when I added it. So it was a little bit challenging, but it definitely wasn't as bad as it could have been. One of the hidden benefits of removing this background was that I was able to get a good cleaning on this aquarium. Behind that background, there was a ton of detritus. So when I moved it, I did a double water change to try to get out as much as I could. And I do believe that that was a nice benefit for my aquarium.
Hey everyone, so this is the next day after removing the background. So first off, when it comes to the aesthetic of the tank, not too bad, and I believe that that's because of the tin for your barbs. They just make any tank look good. But when it comes to the actual substance that was in my tank, the plague, uh, I'm not seeing it. Now, of course, it is too early. I'm going to come back a little bit later in a week to give you guys another look at it because it usually comes back strong two to three days after a water change. So, yeah, this is the day after the Red Devil. His skin is clear. All the fish that had it on their body, they're clear. Most of the rocks and driftwood is clear as well. But I'm going to come back a little bit later in the week, and that's when we're going to know for sure if I've cured the tank. Okay everyone, so here we are a week later and no signs of that stuff growing in my aquarium. Again, I'm not sure if it was a fungus or a bacteria, but it's not here. I remember before when I had the background, I would do a water change. A day or two later, it comes back very strong. Here we are a week later and it's still not back. So, so far looking good. My conclusion is that the background was leaking something. I'm not sure if it was the paint from the background or the material of the background, but it was leaking for years. I've had that problem for years. And I finally decided to take the background out, and it looks like I took out the problem as well. So I guess this is just a consumer alert. Um, I bought the background from Universal Rocks. I have two of these backgrounds, and I have the same problem with these two backgrounds. So I'm not sure if I'm the only person, but I know with these two backgrounds, I'm getting this high phosphates in my aquarium, and that's causing this weird fungus to come in my tank. And I've tried a number of different um, anti-fungal treatments. I've tried all different treatments and nothing worked except actually removing the background from the aquarium. Now like I said, it doesn't kill fish, but certain fish definitely are affected more than others. So because of that, MI-125, I'm going to leave the background in that aquarium because it is silicone, silicone to the back, so it won't be easily taken off. So I'm going to leave it there, and I'm just going to remove any fish that seems to be affected by those high phosphates caused by the background. And then an extra background that came out of this aquarium, probably going to cut it down smaller and put it in one of my small aquariums and again look for fish that's not really affected by the high phosphates. So yeah everyone, um, let me know what you guys think about this. Now before I would never say something about a company like this, um, Universal Rocks because they're big, there's a lot of people supporting them, but this is my experience and we all learn from our experiences. Um, so yeah, if you've had a similar situation let us all know, let me know if I'm the only one. Hey everyone, um, here we are, it's Friday, I want to upload this video today and I'm just going to finish off by feeding these fish because they're hungry, well they're not hungry, they spent the entire day, if you look right here, eating my pothos, so they're not that hungry, but they want to eat, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish this video off, what a quick feeding. So yeah, everyone, that's it for today. As always, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all on the next one.